Welcome back. Uh, stoichiometry volume to volume problems. As you should be aware of from your mole map, to convert from volume of one thing to volume of another, all you have to do is multiply by the conversion factor, just like mole to mole. So as long as you have a given quantity and you have a balanced chemical reaction, you're able to do these questions. What volume is of hydrogen is necessary to react with five liters of nitrogen? So five liters of nitrogen is our given, which we know. What we seek is hydrogen. And remember, what we're going to do is we're going to do the coefficient of what we seek over the coefficient of what you know. And that's going to be our conversion factor. OK? So 5 liters nitrogen is what I was given. We're going to multiply it by the conversion factor, which is the coefficient of what I seek, which is a 3, over the coefficient of what I know, which is a 1. So 5 times 3 is 15, divided by 1 is 15 liters of hydrogen. What volume of ammonia is produced in the reaction of problem 1? So we're going to have the same seek. So no, sorry. We're going to have the same no. So the seek is ammonia this time. So let me go back up here, erase. So what I seek is ammonia. So I seek that. And what I know is my 5 liters of nitrogen. So again, 5 liters of nitrogen. And so my coefficient of that is 1. What I seek this time is ammonia, so that's a 2. So 5 times 2 is 10 divided by 1 is 10 liters of ammonia. All right. This is called a combustion reaction. If 20 liters of oxygen are consumed in the above reaction, how many liters of carbon dioxide are produced? So I am looking for carbon dioxide. So this is what I seek. So that's going to be what's important. What do I know? I know 20 liters of oxygen. This is my know. And remember, I, know, I see oxygen is in a whole bunch of different compounds, but I want just elemental oxygen sitting all by itself. 20 liters of oxygen. And the coefficient of oxygen is a 5. OK? So 20 times 3, hold on a second. I don't want to do this and then get a silly math error. So 20 times 3 is 60, divided by 5 is 12. This is 12 liters of CO2. All right? <coughs> If 30 milliliters of hydrogen are produced in the above reaction, how many milliliters of oxygen are produced? So I am given 30 milliliters of hydrogen. So that is my no. So 30 milliliters of hydrogen. And seek over no, that coefficient is a 2. What do I seek? I seek oxygen. This is what I seek, which is a 1. So 30 times 1 is 30, divided by 2 is 15 milliliters of oxygen. All right, last one. How many liters of carbon dioxide, so carbon dioxide is what I seek, are produced if 75 liters of carbon monoxide are burned? So I seek the two. What do I know? I know carbon monoxide. So 75 uh, liters carbon. So take a look. 75 times 2 divided by 2, that's the same. It's, it's multiplying by 1. So my first answer is 75 liters of carbon dioxide. Now the second one is talking about oxygen. So I'll change to a green here. This is my new seek. So this is a 1 over my no is the same. So that's a 2. Start with 75 liters of carbon monoxide. So 75 times 1 is 75, divided by 2 is 37.5. Oops. Hold on. Whoops. OK. If I made any mistakes, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. All right. Thanks very much.